The health secretary is facing questions about compensation for victims of the contaminated blood scandal. Matt Hancock will give evidence at a public inquiry into what's been called the worst NHS treatment disaster. Well, our health editor, Hugh Pym, is at the inquiry in central London for us. And Hugh, the significance then of this afternoon's proceedings. Uh, well, Kate, simply that this will be the first time a serving UK government cabinet minister has given evidence at this inquiry, which started two years ago. Ministers from the devolved governments have been appearing earlier this week. But Matt Hancock will speak on behalf of the UK government. And the significance there is that the events in this very tragic scandal go right back to the 1970s and 80s before devolution. So ultimately, it will be the UK government that has to face up to the consequences of this inquiry. Uh, the saga which saw tens of thousands infected after their treatment with contaminated blood products. Uh, they were infected with HIV and hepatitis C, and it's thought 3,000 have died. Now, victims and their families have been receiving financial assistance but they say what's crucial is compensation. That is compensating for loss of earnings, uh, a life brought short, uh, all the consequences of being treated with these contaminated blood products. And it's only very recently that the government has acknowledged that compensation will have to be paid out and that some sort of net uh, framework will have to be established to ensure that that is ready to go when the inquiry reports its findings next year. But what families and campaigners want to hear from Matt Hancock this afternoon is a commitment to that compensation, which one minister, Penny Mordaunt, who's in charge of the government's response uh, to this, has already said uh, will have to be paid out, that's inevitable, and will be profound. But the significance of Matt Hancock's appearance is what will he say on this issue of compensation, as well as the levels of financial assistance currently available, which differ in different parts of the UK. All right, Hugh, thank you.